everybody, it's Brooke. I hope you're having a great day. Today, I am going to play with more altered paper clips like the Friday freebie from last week. If you're interested, stick around. <laughs> Alrighty, um, this was the freebie in our Facebook group last week. If you're not a member, please consider scampering right on over and joining up. I'll link it up there if I'm lucky. Uh, you do need to answer the three, three questions because it is private. Um, and as long as you're into paper crafting and you're not a robot, I bet you'll get accepted. Uh, at any rate, we have a, fr a freebie every Friday. And well, sometimes Saturday, depending. This was the one that I did last week. Um, it's a little coin envelope. Got all the pieces in there for you. And that slides back down in there. And when you turn it over, it's got this adorable little image. And the whole thing is a paperclip, which I just love. I had forgotten how much fun it is to make altered paperclips. And it just goes on the page. Not going anywhere. Quite sturdy. So that was really fun. And don't you love it? Serendipity. Who doesn't like it? Right after I made that for the group, I found my little tray. You guys that have been with me for a while might remember this. It's a cutlery tray that I found at uh, a thrift store. And I use it when we go in the car to carry all my little bits to make clusters or paper clips or whatever. So in here I have a little tiny paper trimmer, a glue stick. Normally I have a bottle of glue, but it's kind of cranky right now, so it's it's getting washed. Little scissors, a corner rounder, some ink and a sponge, decorative scissors. Um, what else is in there? I usually have my tiny envelope punch board in here, but I have that out because we're gonna use it. And I've got paper clips, rusted and plain. And this is such a great project. To you, all of these are to use up all your scraps and your bits and use tools that you don't use all the time super fun uh, and cheap because hey you can get a hundred no not 180 paper clips at the Dollar Tree for a buck 25 um, so those are in there and then I've got some clips to hold things while they're drying and some coin envelopes just some little slow stitched pieces this is um, the domino that I made with Johnny a while ago. It's a Dollar Tree domino that we altered uh, and that was super fun using ultra thick embossing powder. So that's in there. Uh, I have some bags with punches, hearts, and I don't know, butterflies. And I have some Tim Holtz bits in here, some um, stamps, just little tiny pieces. This is a pack of Tim Holtz ephemera some glassine envelopes. All of this is scraps and um, I use the leftover scraps of uh, file folder because, oh, I'm sorry, I'm zoomed in kind of far, aren't I? Um, I use my file folder scraps. They're a great weight to be a base and make it real sturdy. I have a napkin here in case I want to decoupage with that. Just really a bunch of scraps and stuff. Um, some Tim Holtz words, of course and some Dollar Tree puffy stickers. These are really fun on there. Um, they do have some dimension. You can peel them off the pop dots so they're not dimensional, but with the dimension, they work really well on the paper clips. Um, so that is, and these are just scraps over here, and I have some of the faux vintage tape that we made, also inspired by Johnny at the Junk Journal Shop. So that is what I have in my little tray, and it's great because you could just tote it around, goes right out to the car and sits in my lap. It's fabulous. So I found that while I was cleaning up the coop the same day that I received my rusted paper clips that I ordered from Michelle Scott. Thank you, Michelle. I love them. Uh, I will link Michelle down below. Everybody check her out. She's genius. So let's just get started, shall we? I have seen these projects all over. I've seen so many people doing all these different varieties and different takes on them. I will list uh, down below some of the people that I watched, but 
honestly, if you just put altered paperclip in on YouTube, you'll get a billion ideas in about five seconds. So I just had to keep making them because they were fun. Let me get out my gooey book and that will help. The first one that I am making, um, partially inspired by D.D. Farrago, and then I think uh, Emma Femmera's Treasures. Is that right? I think that's right. Don't look at the scary alligator. Let's take him out. Ooh, snakes. I don't want to glue on snakes. All right, little tiny monkeys are okay. Let's take a page out. We'll take two pages out in case we're getting crazy. No snakes. Cover up the snake. Yuck. He looks very cranky. Animals of the Amazon. Do you guys feel like the Amazon is someplace where everything wants to murder you? Because I think it is. Okay, so got my glue pages. I have um, two postcards. These are antique postcards. I just have a little scrap of index card and a scrap of book page. And that's pretty much what you need in a paper clip. That's pretty much all you need. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, so I want this Tux postcard to be the back of, of the piece. This is so cool. Um, Raphael Tuck and Sons were the art publishers to their majesties, the king and queen. So cool. Some of these postcards are really valuable. This one is not so much. So there's that, but I really like how this side looks. So this is gonna be the back. I'm gonna take this, got my paper clip on there, and here we go. I've got the shorter piece to the inside, and I was smart this time and actually pulled off some packing tape so you guys didn't have to hear that terrible noise. So I'm gonna take my packing tape and put it right over that paper clip to make it stay in place. Take my bone folder and burnish it down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so that shouldn't go anywhere. And then we're going to take our uh, book page, which I already cut down to be about the same size as the postcard. It's a little smaller, but that's fine. You're not going to see any of this. I just like the color and it happened to be handy. Uh, let's grab our glue stick. Had everything out. I did test the wet glue though. Yay me. And I have not inked this. This is how the book page was. It's so pretty. Look at me pushing down too hard on the glue stick again. Okay, get a good coating on there. Make sure to get the edges. Try to line it up. Basically, this piece is just covering up the paper clip so nothing catches or gets weird. I did leave my paper clip up above the top a little bit so we could put some ribbon or something in there. Okay, so there's that. Maybe I should use my presser downer tool. Technical talk, presser downer. And really press around that paper clip. There we go. All right, so now we're going to, what are we gonna do? Uh, we are going to, she says, pondering, pondering. Okay, we're going to hold them both together and get out our chopper. Did I forget the order in which to do this? I might have, and I wanna keep them lined up. So I'm gonna grab one of my little clips just to hold them there while we cut. And I'm going to cut right above the little birdies. I don't want to cut into their heads, but it, it's arbitrary. This measurement is whatever you want it to be. <clears throat> Make sure that's lined up. Don't cut off birdie's head. And there. All right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is make... Oh, Look at that, I already lost track. How does that go? Like that? Yep, <laughs> just checking. Okay, we're gonna make this into a pocket. Where's my wet glue? There we go. So which part's the top? We're gonna go 
and try to keep it right at the edge so that um, you don't lose too much space in your pocket. And right down that side, keeping my thumb where I don't want to glue because <laughs> I need reminders like that. And then we want to get this lined back up. Perfect. Line up the edges. Squish out any extra glue. All right, good. Now I'll take my little clips here and put them right there while we're finishing it up. Just around the paper clip to help it really grab. Looks like the rest is doing a good job. Okay, so that's good. That part is good. We'll set it aside. Now I have to remember what to do. All right, we're going to take our um, index card and decide which way we want it to come out. I want it to come out um, on the not lined side. I want that to be the main side, but of course you'll have both sides for um, writing on. See where, we're, see where we're going with this? I think we're going to have to trim off just a little bit of our index card, which is fine. It was just a scrap that was in my scrap box, already inked, quite handy. Okay, and then we're going to, what are we going to do? We're going to glue it in the center. All right, so um, why don't we go ahead and use wet glue? Get out our monkeys again. I think this is the most adorable idea. Who doesn't like a little hidden journaling spot that is also a handy dandy paper clip? Being pretty generous with my glue. Let's see, is that the right? Yeah, that'll be the right direction. So get this in the middle. Shaky, shaky hands. Maybe scoot it up a little bit so we get maximum writing space. Try to get it straight. <laughs> get the glue off your fingers. And then I think what I will do is cover up my wet glue. And cover this with glue stick. right over the wet glue and everything. Don't care. I'm a rebel. Ah, yep. Pull. Pushing too hard. So we'll just scrape that out a little bit. I just had a horrible thought. I didn't, oh, I did get it on the right side. I wasn't sure if I had glued the index card on the right side of the back. Okay, so I'm just making a little sandwich out of those. Get out the old brayer, give them a real good squash. Take our clips off for a second. Ah, oh, perfect, look at that. Look at that. You can hardly even tell it's cut. So it'll be a over the top paper clip. And there's the back where you can see the cut more because um, it's plain. You know, the there's no decoration to sort of disguise it, but I think it's just fine. So now all we have to do is decide what we want to put through there. And I also had this little slow stitching piece, which I thought might look super cute just like that. Okay, so we only want to glue the bottom part. We don't want to glue the pocket shut. So I'm going to take some Fabri-Tac. You know what? I'm not going to use Fabri-Tac. It's kind of um, thin for that. And this is just a piece that I sewed with fabric scraps. Oh, and what did I just do? Went up to the top. We'll have to wipe that off. Try not to glue the pocket shut is the point.
Oh, I like that, especially because it says airmail. So that's kind of cute, huh? And then all we have to do is decide what to put in the paper clip. Great use for scraps. Again, let me get my little box out of the way. And we'll pull out our box of, this is um, where I put all the little bitty pieces of fabric and um, lace and things like that, fibers. And look at this, I think that's a piece of this fabric. Handy. So let's cut a little bit of that off. It's more than a little bit, I guess, but it's fine. And what do we want to do? Let's thread it through. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you see me? I'm concentrating really hard. And I don't know why I didn't do it, but it, I find it easier to um, put the topper on before you glue the paper clip in. A lark's head knot. Oh, I like the colors with the front, too. Aw, cute. Let's trim this down a little bit. Get those out of the way. And let's have a little peek at how they look on our page. So if this were your journal page, you just slide it on right like that going to hang out. You can put stuff underneath it because the paper clip is perfectly functional. And then you can pull it out. There's your airmail. There's all this space here and all this space here to write on. How cute is that, right? Hidden but not hidden. Let's see if I can get it back in there. Actually, you know what? I don't want to put it back in there. I want to let it dry a little bit more. I'll set it aside, put its clips back on. We'll let it dry for a little bit and... Oh, they're over here. Ah. Let it dry for a bit, and then we'll come back and peek at all the ones we get made. All right, so that's number one. Fun, fun, fun. Get this out of the way. All right, the second one is also extremely easy. I don't know. remember. I do know somewhere in my brain where I saw it, but I could not tell you. So if I saw it on your channel, I'm sorry for not giving you credit. Uh, as I said, I looked at a lot of different videos. Gail Agostinelli also. Oh, time for a sip of water. I've got my cow cup. I love her. All right, so on this one, all you're going to need is a paper clip, again, a little scrap of lace, no wider than your paper clip. Uh, the long piece of wire, one side has a long one, the other side is short, so the lace needs to be no longer than the width of your paper clip. I'm using a little paper flower that I think is cute, but I also think it could use a little bit of antiquing. What do you guys think? Oops, knocking everything over. Let's just define that a little more since we're doing cream on cream. Just a tad. Okay, so what, this is fiddly only getting the lace on the paper clip because it kind of wants to catch on the pokey parts. So I'm feeding it through. Ooh, see like that? <laughs> Oops, hopefully you can see this. Let me get up closer. So this is the part of the paper clip that's got, ooh, that's got the long edge. So I just fed the lace through. Scoot it over and get it in place. Can you see how I did that? The lace is just going over that long part. Okay, and then we just want to pull it up. Concentrating. Try to pull it up without pulling it all the way through. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to turn it over, grab our fabric tag, run some glue. Ooh. A little boogie on the end of my fabric tag. Let me grab a. <laughs> well, let me grab something out of the trash to wipe that off. Handy trash. Yep. Okay. So we're just going to run a little bead of glue, fabric tag, right across there. I suppose you probably could use art glitter glue. 
pull the paper clip and pull the lace so everything's tight. I'm just going to use my silicone scraper thing to hold that down. Give it a second to catch. I don't really want to put a clip on it while it's this wet because I'm afraid the clip will just glue right to it. Come on, you. Well, for the sake of the video, we'll assume it's going to catch. I would normally sit here for a couple minutes and just hold it. Okay. So I'm going to pick that up, flip it over. And we have this pretty piece of lace. I know you guys can hardly see it because of the white. <clears throat> I'll hold it up again in a minute. Um, I also dug this out of my little lace box, just a little tiny strip of um, rhinestones. And I think we'll put those right here. Ooh, my fabric tack is being highly gross. Wish I hadn't thrown my trash away. Here's some more trash we can use. You can tell I was playing with black paint. <laughs> I had a little black paint explosion. Okay. Just a little bit of fabric tack right there. And we'll lay these down. Get straight. There. Oh, pretty. I love those things. You can tell I save even the three little pieces. And then some more fabric tack for our flower. Our rhinestones are just peeking out, which is fine. Maybe scoot our flower over a little bit. This is gooey. <laughs> gonna catch. Hmm. Well, we'll have to hope for the best. So let's see. Oh, you can see it a little better, better there. The white is kind of blowing out the uh, color, or the camera rather, but it's awfully pretty. Very delicate, but a beautiful embellishment. Let's see if I can mush that down and we'll set it aside to dry. We'll set it with our other one. Where did we put our other one, she asks. Okay see if that will dry. Be careful where you put that uh, because the fabric tack is seeping through the back and so I've got it face down and I'm just giving it another push so hopefully it will stick the way it's supposed to. So that was number two pretty darn easy right in all scraps. Okay so let's do another one because it's so much fun. Again, I did a little prep work just so you guys didn't have to watch and I could make more paper clips. So on this one, I uh, switch out my paper. I have a rusty paper clip. I've got my mini envelope punch board. You know you have one and you don't ever use it. <laughs> Pull it out, it's perfect for these. Uh, I wanted to make a two by three envelope. So I've got just a little scrap of coffee dyed cardstock that is four and an eighth by four and an eighth and another little flower. Okay. Get all these little bits out of my way. So if you look at your scoreboard, my two by three, um, can you see that? For a two by three envelope, you need a square of paper, four and an eighth by four and an eighth, and your um, score line is at two and three eighths. So this is a nifty friend, a nifty tip that my friend Darla Walker taught me for an envelope punch board. In order to get it, um, why did I do these in gold? Makes it kind of hard to see. The numbers are wearing off also. Um, so to get a, a really good pocket, you know, sometimes you punch it and it's a little wonky. Um, punch one. Do your score. So I've got the edge lined up at two and three eighths. Do your little score with your little tiny bone folder. Okay, and, and it tells you to rotate and do it here. Instead of doing that, turn it to the other side of the paper and line it back up. Okay, so there's two and three eighths. And punch. 
and score. And then turn it whichever way you want to turn it. And this way you can line up your um, the divot you just cut and punch it. Oops. Ooh, and score it. Sorry, you guys, it just got really windy out. I'm listening to it. It finally is turning into winter here in Maine. We're looking at below zero temperatures for a while, which makes me want to cry. It makes my oil burner want to cry. Okay, so we just turned it around and did exactly the same thing, scoring it. And I'm going to punch a round tip. Okay, so we can set this aside, get rid of those tiny little bits. And then fold it up. Boy, it seems like it didn't score all that well. Maybe the cute scorer doesn't do a good job. I'm guessing operator error. What do you think? one of those things that I think, why did I ever buy that? But then when I use it, I love it. I just think it's so cute. And what I'm going to do is um, fold, I like to fold this tip under. Make sure that I'm clearing that top score line. Actually, I want to fold it more just for aesthetics. Is that relatively straight? Maybe. Okay, fold that. Perfect. Oh, and we're going to have to glue that or cut that more because it overhangs and that looks silly. So I'm going to try doing it by hand. Wish me luck. Oh, that's not a very good job. <laughs> Close enough. Okay, and that will go like that. Oh, so cute. Such a tiny little envelope. All right, so we've got that. Let's go ahead. Sweet. Let's ink it just for fun. Why not? We could do that. I am knocking everything everywhere. Just to make these edges stand out a little bit, even the terrible one I cut. <laughs> hey, it's handmade. It adds to the charm. Right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's a real thing. Oh, these little, these little dudes. I know you're screaming at me to knock it off, but it was kind of all one color. I don't know if you can tell on camera, there's very small uh, turquoise print on the uh, paper. So then we can just take our glue, which is in the meantime become crabby. Well, it worked for a minute. I can't believe how bad that round is. Yeah. We're going to cover it up anyway. No one will be the wiser. Let's see if that makes it happier. Yeah, come here and watch me ink and poke the pins into my glue. It's a laugh a minute, I tell you. So I'm just going to glue right here. And right here. Fold that up. Double check I didn't glue it closed. Yay, I didn't. Look, we're on a roll. Okay, that's looking good. I think I will pull out a Velcro dot to close this. For no reason other than I have them. If you don't have them, no worries. By the time it's in your book, it'll get squashed flat and it'll just stay closed. But I have a zillion of these. It's one of those things where I thought I was out and so I bought them I, I like three different times. And so now I have a plethora of them. They didn't want to come out because my hands are sticky. Hmm. Go over there for now. So I just take one of them off. 
match it up with its corresponding dot over here. Try to anyway. And this adhesive generally is very sticky, although now I'm manhandling it. I may put some glue on it. All right. Just want one. It's so small. It's so small. And then we'll put it right here. I'm going to put a little... I'm sorry, you probably couldn't see that. I've got it right there. You can tell because it's got glue from my fingers stuck to it. Put that there. Close it up. Boom. Oh, it's so cute, isn't it? We'll fold up a little piece of paper to put in there for journaling. And I think that I am going to use this flower. I went through some of my really old paper flowers. Once again, just hit the edges. Probably better if there's some ink on it, huh? These have got to be at least five years old, I think. Okay, and that doesn't, it's not real obvious, but it does help it stand out a little bit. And I love those colors. So I'm just going to put a whole bunch of glue on there and stick it right there, which will cover our terrible curve. Ha <laughs> ha! See, everything can be covered up and solved. So there's that. I love it. I think to finish it off, I'm going to use some Nouveau drops, but we need to do the other side first. All right. And I think I want this to be... Do I? Hmm. I think I want this to be a side guy that way. So let's pull out. Oh, you know, I know what I want. I want um, a photo booth card. I'm almost out of these and it makes me so sad because I love them. I don't know if they're still available or not. Oh, that'll be so cute. Oops, tissues falling out of my pocket. Sorry about that. All right, so let's grab our chomper and round these corners for no reason other than I want to. Hmm, even the quarter inch one is kind of big, but it'll be fine. All right, so I like that. Oh, and you know what I was just thinking? If you didn't want to make an actual envelope, you could do the kind where you just fold the paper to be shaped like an envelope and it keeps unfolding. Uh, for journaling, that would be cute too. All right, so let's. We want to. Hmm. Just pondering for a minute, wondering if I got ahead of myself. I did. What a surprise. Okay, so we need a piece of our file folder. them here. All right, here's a piece. And so we need something to put our paper clip upon now, don't we? So I'm going to see how big this is. Let me move our blue paper. Make it a little smaller than our envelope. didn't cover up the glue, darn it. There we go. Oh, I did it this way. So then I'm going to fold it this way. Oh, this isn't going to work. Nope, I, it's got to be from the top, doesn't it? Why, yes, yes it does, darn it. Because our paper clips are too big. off screen. I have the camera just in the right position and of course I bopped it with my big old noggin. Okay. So we'll tear this off. And you know what we need is just a regular size paper clip. Oops. And we need to throw tiny clips around. 
Here's a regular size white paper clip. Perfect. Or gold. That's not white. That's gold. I was going to use a rusty paper clip with this, but again, it's too narrow. All right. So let's see. I want it to go into the page that way. So we'll put that on like that. Mm, I think I want a charm on it. So our envelope is going to go there. And our... I'm just going to put the photo strip on poof. Grab a piece of our packing tape. Oh my gosh, you guys, all that glue is just sticking to everything off my fingers. That's nasty. Sorry. Make sure we get that down there. And the packing tape does a really good job um, keeping it in place. Oh no, I've stuck it to everything. That defeats the purpose. Okay. There we go. And I think I'll take the fabric tack again. close to the edges. Stick our photo strip on there. Did we get it a little lined up? Sort of. And it's nice because the photo strip has um, a decorative background. You could cover it with something else if you wanted to. Ooh, that's slippery and oozing. I guess I was a little too generous. On my clips again. So we'll just tack that down for a second, let it do its thing. More glue on my fingers. Rut row. Get out my trash to wipe my fingers on. We'll clip that and let it sit for a minute. Now let's go through the charm box and see what we got to hang off there. Like I said, you can use all the things for this. Okay, this is more in reach, I'm sorry. Ooh, how about a teal? A little teal dude. I love this box, this is my treasure box. Anytime uh, charms are on sale, I pick some up. Do we like that one, or are we getting, are we getting two turquoise? I think I kind of like it. There's a little tiny one, but I think it's too small for this. I think I'm going with that one because it'll look pretty with our um, turquoise on the back. I need a little um, bulb pin. Wow, I'm just totally losing my mind. Losing my mind. And this is my box of Tim Holtz medals, mostly. Okay, so you just open up your bulb pin. And we'll see which side the, the blue falls on. One's going to get the front, one's going to get the back. And I don't really mind either way. Kind of hard to get in there between the clips, but I want to put this on here so I don't lose it. Since we made a decision and all. Shoot. Oh, it's going to hang towards the back. All right. So you can't tell yet, but that's pretty cute. I left my paper clip out a little too far, but it's okay. It won't hurt anything. Get some of that excess fabric tack off. Oh, right on the new mat. Are you kidding me? That's why we can't have nice things, Brooke. Okay. So there's that. Hopefully that's getting held down pretty well. Looks like it is. And we have this. And we're going to center it right 
there. So let's go ahead and take our clips off. Make sure we didn't glue our base closed with all that excess Fabri-Tac. Oh, we almost did. So I'm just running my finger under there to make sure we haven't glued that rascal closed. Now I'm going to get a baby wipe because I put way too much Fabri-Tac on there. Let's see if I can wipe some of it off without causing a calamity. So some of these will go out in Happy Mail. Again, on the Facebook group, we have a random act of kindness list, and it's basically a Happy Mail list. If you would like to give or receive Happy Mail, you just put your address on there. No, um, no spam, no crazy stuff. Uh, it's just to exchange Happy Mails because it's fun. And so I think some of these will be going out in Happy Mails to the folks that have put their name on the list. And again, if you'd like to join the Facebook group, I'll link it again, right up there. Maybe, you know, I say that. Okay, so I think I got most of the disaster cleaned up. Do not be so crazy with your Fabri-Tac is my advice now. I'm gonna put some Fabri-Tac on the um, packing tape because it's a little harder to stick, it's so slick. And then I think I'll use art glitter glue on the rest because that was kind of a disaster of my own making, of course. Okay. And let's see if we can get there, that on there relatively straight. Cover up our base. That looks pretty straight. Oops. Base is peeking out a little bit. Hold that. I am going to squirt a little more art glitter glue down in there and put the clamps back on. I'll show it to you first. I think what I will do is go ahead and make a part two to this because I do have a couple other things I want to show you. Um, hopefully you haven't fallen asleep yet. Uh, hopefully you've gotten out all your scraps and your paper clips and you're going mad making paper clips because you can never have enough. Uh, but at any rate, I'll make a second part and at the end of the second part we will go back over all the ones we made because that lace one is still looking very goopy. So I'll put those clamps on there. I'll put some down at the end just to get a good stick. There we go. Awesome. So that's going to be, well you can't see the dangle because of the clips, but that will be one side and that will be the other side. I just love these guys. Should we clip some? I, you know, I feel like we should clip something on there. Why not? I just saw these adorable little bulldog pins that I forget about. These are the little tiny Tim Holtz ones. They're fun. So why don't we take something like a piece of ephemera, which really isn't ephemera. It's embellishments. I've got my tray back over here. And we have all these fun things. And Tim Holtz, why don't we dump them out? I don't want to cover the cute people too much. But... Well, that's going to cover them right the heck up, isn't it? I'm sorry, the crinkle must be terrible. her up but when you take the clip off to use the flower she'll be showing again I'm not sure I'll have to ponder on that but it does look cute but I feel bad covering up that little cutie hmm. all right then I'm gonna set this aside to dry and we'll be back real soon with 
another set of fun paper clips to make. Oh, wait, wait, don't leave yet. I forgot to put on my new row drops. So I just want to go right there, right there. And you squeeze it and pull up. Squeeze it, stop squeezing, pull up. Squeeze it, pull up. Whoop. Stop squeezing before you pull up. And they will self-level. All right then, perfect. Now you may go about your appointed rounds and um, I will see you again real soon. Thanks to you guys for coming. If you're new, welcome. We're so happy to see you. I hope you'll s consider subscribing and throwing me a thumbs up on the way out the door. Bye, everybody.